Hey there, welcome. I'm your host, Nas. And if you watch this video until the end, you will master this IELTS speaking part two topic. You'll become fluent, you'll be confident. And in order to assist you and to guide you, I will present you with advanced phrases and idiomatic language to answer this question. So what is the topic for today? It's a current IELTS topic from 2024. And I'm your host, Nas, CELTA certified and also IELTS accredited. So I'm qualified to guide you on this. So what is the topic? It's describe a natural place. And you should say where it is, how you know about it, what you do there, and what makes this place special. I'm going to give you the detailed cue card later on, so do stay tuned. Now, where it is. Let's start with the where and the location. It's in a secluded spot, okay? It's nestled deep in the forest. It's off the beaten track, so it's not in the middle of the city or in a shopping mall. It's off the beaten track. Sounds amazing. So it makes it a perfect escape from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. If you go into a mall, it's hustle and bustle. If you're in the city, it's hustle and bustle. So this is a secluded spot, an isolated spot. It sounds beautiful. It's nestled, hidden, deep in the forest or in the countryside. And this location is off the beaten track. It's not in the middle of the town or the city. And this makes it a perfect escape and escape from what the noise the hustle and bustle of everyday life and relax we're going to get into all of these phrases in detail now how do you know about it well through word of mouth what does word of mouth mean we're going to get into those details later but it basically means hearing about it from someone so I heard about it through word of mouth from a close friend who had visited the area several times. Look at the grammar thrown in. So what is it like? Let's dive into the vocabulary list for today. It's tranquil, lush, verdant, untouched, picturesque, scenic, secluded, majestic, breathtaking, idyllic why you like to visit this place i like i'm fond of i like visiting the place i'm fond of visiting this place because it offers a perfect retreat into nature it allows me to unwind to relax to recharge now synonyms for like could include enjoy appreciate relish cherish love fond of. So look at the synonyms, look at the expanded vocabulary that's going to take you from stuck at 5.5 all the way to 7. I like, I'm fond of, I enjoy, oh I appreciate, I relish, I cherish, I love. So I like hiking in the mountains, I'm fond of hiking in the mountains, I enjoy hiking in the mountains. I appreciate a good hike in the mountains. I relish the thought of hiking in the mountains. I cherish my weekend hikes in the mountains. I love hiking in the mountains. Now, do you think that someone who uses like is going to get the same score as someone who uses enjoys, appreciates, relishes, cherishes, loves? I don't think so. Can you see the importance of using synonyms and showing off your vocabulary? Speaking of vocabulary, let's get back to our list. First word on the list, tranquil. Repeat after me, tranquil, calm, peaceful, tranquil. The tranquil atmosphere of this hideaway soothes my mind. I love the tranquility. Second word on my list, lush. Lush means rich and abundant in vegetation. So the lush forest surrounds the area with vibrant greenery. And stay tuned until the end because I'm going to include a clip from my forest cafe 
which is at the end of my beach walk. It's in a really lush, verdant area, which brings us to word number three on our list. Verdant, green with grass or other rich vegetation. So the verdant meadows oh, of Switzerland are a treat to the eyes. Verdant, beautiful, the verdant meadows, the verdant fields. Number four on my list, untouched, untouched, not altered by human activity, no skyscrapers, no shopping malls, untouched. The untouched landscape gives me a sense of tranquility. I love the untouched landscape. And number five is a word that many IELTS students already know. I'm pretty sure you know it. Let's just focus on the pronunciation. Picturesque. 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 And what does picturesque mean? It means visually attractive, especially in a charming way. So picturesque village. Oh, I've been to some really picturesque villages in Switzerland. So the picturesque scenery is perfect for what? Photography, for Instagram <laughs> reels. Picturesque. Next up, we have scenic. Scenic. And scenic means providing or relating to views of impressive natural beauty. So if it's a scenic place, it's naturally beautiful, impressively so. So the scenic trails are, offer breathtaking views of the mountains or of the valleys. I actually hike on some of the ridges in Italy and those scenic trails offer breathtaking views of the valleys and the lakes down below. Next on the list, and I've lost count of which number we're at, please help me, <laughs> secluded. Secluded means sheltered, private, or secluded cabin in the Alps provides a perfect getaway. I would love to live in a secluded cabin in the Swiss Alps, wouldn't you? And majestic, speaking of the Alps, they are majestic. They have impressive beauty they kind of dignified so the majestic peaks ah oh, they stand tall against the sky majestic the mountains of italy the alps i love them love them i love hiking it's something that i've just developed a passion for in the last couple of years i love love hiking in the majestic alps next up on my list is breathtaking and this means awe-inspiring, astonishing, takes your breath away, breathtaking. So the breathtaking views leave me in awe, the views from the Alps. Oh, I need to add some videos because I've done some amazing hikes. So check out our future videos, like and subscribe. We're going to keep uploading them. And idyllic, idyllic, repeat after me, idyllic. So it's an extremely peaceful, picturesque, happy place. So the idyllic setting is perfect for relaxation and reflection. Idyllic, the idyllic setting is perfect for relaxation and reflection. Now let's just review and we're going to use different grammar forms in the sentences so the first one was tranquil the hideaway is tranquil pretty straightforward grammar lush i walked t walked ed t sound really important i walked through the lush forest i walked through the lush forest verdant the fields are verdant in spring untouched nature remains untouched in the Italian Alps. Picturesque, the village is picturesque. I went to a village in um, Brazil, in um, Nuvo Hamburgo, and it really reminded me of a German Swiss 
village, it was really picturesque. Picturesque. Nice word. Scenic. We enjoyed the scenic view. Secluded? We found a secluded spot to have a picnic. Majestic. The majestic mountains towered above us. Breathtaking. To be honest, the view from my temporary accommodation is breathtaking. Gorgeous sea views. Idyllic. It's an idyllic location. It's an idyllic day. And these phrases can help you create an IELTS speaking band seven to eight answer. Now, the cue card will say, describe a natural place you like to visit. You should say where it is, how you knew about it, what it's like, and explain why you like to visit it. So my answer would go along the lines of one of my favorite natural places to visit is a secluded spot called the Forest Cafe located at the end of the promenade where I take my morning walks. This area is truly off the beaten track which makes it an ideal escape from the hustle and bustle of city life and the mall that's about two kilometers away which is always crowded. And I discovered this hidden gem through word of mouth. A close friend who is an avid jogger recommended it to me and this forest cafe is a place of unparalleled beauty and tranquility. It's characterized by the lush verdant forest around it and the untouched landscapes. You step off the deck and onto the sand. It's breathtaking. The scenery here is picturesque and scenic with uh, beautiful flowers and birds that are simply breathtaking and oh I need to mention I almost forgot to mention that there are monkeys hanging from the trees and playing like naughty little children. The secluded nature of the spot ensures a peaceful and idyllic experience. It's the perfect spot to get away from the noise and the distractions of modern life and the hustle and bustle of the city. I particularly enjoy visiting the Forest Cafe because it offers a perfect retreat into nature. The tranquility of the surroundings and the cappuccino allow me to unwind and to recharge. I relish the opportunity to walk through the verdant trails, to breathe in that sweet, salty sea air, and simply enjoy the serene beauty of the untouched landscapes. The picturesque views from the deck are a treat for any nature lover, and I truly appreciate the sense of peace and calm that this hidden gem provides. And ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today. I have provided you with 10 beautiful phrases and words to discuss um, a natural place. We've also used some idiomatic language like hustle and bustle and hidden gem. As a native English speaker, I've been able to provide you with perfect pronunciation. If you incorporate all of these strategies and tips and vocabulary into your answer, you are guaranteed of an IELTS band seven. So happy studying, good luck. Please do like and subscribe because we will be uploading continuously. I'm your host, Nas, native English speaker, CELTA certified, IELTS and PTE accredited. I am a test preparation specialist and jet setter. So if you are enjoying my channel, please do like and subscribe. That's it for now. Ciao.